Today we're testing out every TikTok science experiment you've ever seen. Like this beautiful lava lamp you can make at home, or this crazy experiment that causes millions of bubbles. So we're starting off with elephant toothpaste. Let's see how big this explosion is going to be. I've actually seen this video. Be prepared to be amazed. Oh! Whoa, that is actually insane. It's like a green volcano. This TikTok claimed that you start off with vinegar. We're gonna do how much vinegar? It's really weird to me that there's no toothpaste inside of elephant toothpaste. Now we're gonna add the food coloring that'll give it its iconic color. We're gonna add blue and red to make purple. Now that everything is mixed, supposedly the last step is adding some baking soda right here. Let's hope this works. I have no idea how much. Here we go. Oh, it's actually working! Oh my gosh! Add some more. Oh, it's going! Oh, it's working! No way! It's kind of pathetic compared to Mark Rovers, but it's working. What happens if we add more baking soda? I think I put out the volcano. Our first science <laughs> experiment is confirmed. What is this science experiment? Filling a glass with water. Now he's putting a paper towel on the top. What do you think is going to happen here? I have no idea. How's it not just going through the paper towel? This guy is claiming paper towels work just like caps on tops of bottles. I guess Bounty wasn't lying. We have all of our materials here to expose if this is actually real or not. All we need is a water bottle. So he filled it all the way to the top. So this is where the magic happens. We're gonna see if this paper towel can actually hold the water. We're basically making a liquid seal. If this actually works, you never need lids again. You can just use paper towels. What? Bro, there is still water inside of this thing. Just to prove to you that this actually works. Oh, there's water everywhere. Science experiment confirmed. This science experiment right here is literally breaking the laws of gravity. They have two forks balancing on two toothpicks on top of an apple. How is that even possible? I don't think it is possible. I feel like we are about to expose this person. We wanna see if this is actually real or not. We're definitely being lied to. There is no way this is actually real. So we're gonna put this one to the test right now. Step number one is interlocking the forks. Okay, so right here, we're gonna stab the apple with the toothpick, and now we need to put a toothpick inside of our fork. So now I just have to balance this toothpick on top of the other one. Three, two, one. It looks so real in the video. I feel like it actually works. We're just not smart enough to do it. Apple experiment is not real. Science unconfirmed. Watch what happens when you dip a strawberry in cold water. It freezes instantly and becomes a big strawberry crystal. No way. So this is one of the most famous science experiments I've ever seen on TikTok. I feel like this is a total lie. Let's see if it works. No way. Nothing. The strawberry is as hard as a rock, but it didn't look like the video. We definitely did something wrong. Science unconfirmed. This is the potato and knife experiment. You insert a tip of the knife into a large, heavy potato. If I take a mallet and I hit the handle, will the potato drop? How is the potato not falling to the ground? The potato is going up. I have our knife right here. Oh, and a potato. I have a hammer. Let's see if this actually works and we can build a homemade elevator potato. Step one, insert the knife in the potato. So if this actually works, the potato will lift up, not fall down. Here we go. Is it lifting? Is it working? No way. Oh my gosh. This is like magic. It's like an elevator. Oh. And it fell. That is insane. That was so cool. Science confirmed. I cannot believe that actually worked and the experiments in this video are only gonna get crazier and this next one is guaranteed to blow your mind. Laminar flow is when water is moving so smoothly, you can barely tell it's moving at all. I've seen videos like this before. It looks like it's frozen in time. There are lots of ways to achieve laminar flow, but the easiest one is just by filling a balloon with water. I'm actually really excited to try this. I've seen tons of videos and I've never been able to pull this off in real life. It looks so satisfying. Now, using electrical tape, we're just gonna make a little square on the side of the balloon. So you need electrical tape, balloon, water. I feel like that is AI. There is no way this is real, right? It looks so still. We just filled our balloon with water. We have our tape and scissors. I actually really hope this works. Step number one is making the little square on the balloon right here. We have our little square made. I got the scissors. Let's pop it and see if it works. Three, two, one. Oh, it's working! Whoa. It looks like it's not moving! Science confirmed. This is called the smoke waterfall. Look at that. It looks like an actual waterfall made of smoke. So now we're gonna see how it's actually done. So you take a pencil and roll it up in paper. And then put it inside of a fork. Do you think this actually works? I don't know. So far, a lot of the experiments we've tested today actually do work. This one is really cool. This doesn't... 
hot air rise. It actually looks like a waterfall of smoke. It's time to expose if this smoke waterfall is actually true or false. We're rolling the paper extremely tight towards the pencil. We have our perfect tube, which will supposedly make our waterfall. So now we need to shove the paper inside of this fork right here. Right in the middle, it looks like. Okay. So now we balance it right there. Let's see if this actually works or not. If this actually works, it'll be crazy. Okay, we have smoke. Right now the smoke is going up instead of down. The smoke is starting to come out of the bottom, but it doesn't look like a waterfall yet. I don't know if we just did this wrong, but the science is unconfirmed on this one. Science unconfirmed! So this experiment is called the lemon balloon. Lemon balloon? Isn't that just a yellow balloon? Right now I don't even see a balloon. Okay, there's the balloon. Oh, they popped oh, There's it. no balloon. Oh, so they're claiming that the lemon juice will pop the balloon if it's on your finger. No, -uh, no way. Maybe balloons don't like sour stuff. Let's see if it actually pops a balloon. All right, we have our lemon and the skin. Now you just have to put this on your finger. I have the lemon juice on my finger. No way this works. I don't think it works. Science unconfirmed. I am so excited for this one. This is a cool science experiment for kids. Let's see if it's cool for adults. Whoa, it's just like transferred into the water. That is actually crazy. So they're claiming that if you draw with an Expo marker and put it in water, it'll actually make whatever you drew float. Let's see if this works. So I'm gonna draw a heart on our spoon. Now we're gonna see if my drawing can actually float into water. All right, here we go. It's actually coming off. Do you see that? This is crazy. Oh, it's floating. Oh, look at him. My little heart is floating in the water right now. Science confirmed. All right, we got some physics going on. Two batteries. Whoa, we're making a water tornado. There's no way this is possible. All it says is just physics. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I don't know if this actually works or not. A mini tornado in a glass? So there's like some sort of electrical field that's like making the water spin? The electromagnetic field, yeah. We have our water, two batteries right here. Let's put them there. Nothing's happening. I'm not surprised this one doesn't work. Science unconfirmed again, Matthew. We're gonna need a mop. This is the magic pepper science experiment. Let's see what happens here. Pepper. Drop. Whoa. Whoa! It's like it's alive. I feel like this one actually works, but we're about to test it here in a second. It's like the, he has the force. It moves so fast, it's like a superpower. Step one is adding the pepper. Here we go. So we're gonna cover the entire top with some pepper. That, that's a lot of pepper. Hopefully that's not too much. I'm gonna sneeze. <laughs> okay, here we go. So now I have a dab of soap on my finger. Now, as soon as I touch the middle, this all should move. You ready? I'm so ready. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> On to the next experiment. This one's confirmed. Simple science for kids. Cloud bottles. Okay, you take an empty bottle, add rubbing alcohol, shake, 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 Ooh. twist in the middle, and then let go. It's pretty cool. I don't know if it's that impressive, but let's see if it actually works or not. We got our bottle. We're gonna pour a little bit of alcohol in there. That much. Cap back on. Don't forget shake, shake, shake. Twist in the middle. I'm the world's strongest man. The next step is to let go and watch. Oh, it like Whoa. instantly turned to smoke. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that it's kind of cool. That was like right before our eyes. Science confirmed, hey. on to the next one. So for this experiment, you need a toothpick and a watermelon. He's gonna show you how to cut a watermelon in half only using a toothpick. What? The entire watermelon just cracked in half. I feel like this one is definitely not true. That was like Bruce Lee in like all the movies ever. It's like Fruit Ninja in real life with a toothpick. In order to expose if this experiment is real or not, we need a toothpick and a watermelon. We're gonna insert the toothpick. We have inserted the toothpick in our watermelon. Now we just have to flick it and cut this thing in half. Maybe I need to flick it. I don't think it's working. Really disappointing. It actually broke our toothpick, no but the way. watermelon is still completely solid. <sighs> Science unconfirmed. I was really hoping for Fruit Ninja in real life. I do have an idea that will actually break this watermelon open. Let's see it. Oh, it was actually the perfect split. You want some watermelon juice? I do. Here. I promise you, you are not ready for what your little eyes are about to see. Little eyes. This is how you make a homemade lava lamp. Everybody's bought a lava lamp from Walmart or Target, but this is how you make one for free. I guess it's not free because you still have to buy the stuff, but this is how you can make one. So you get some food coloring, okay. some water, some other random stuff. What are those, candies? Uh, I think they're Alka-Seltzers. Alka-Seltzers, what is that? Um, It's a like antacid. You know Big Matt's a genius? Look at that, that is actually a homemade lava lamp. It looks so good. We're back at our science experiment lab. We just need our ingredients. Perfect. Supposedly, this is everything that we need to build a lava lamp. We have vegetable oil, food coloring. I want to make a blue lava lamp. So we're going to add the vegetable oil in. 
So now we're gonna add some water to the top. Darn, don't separate. Look at that. There is already little bubbles inside of there. Whoa. While Big Matt's opening up the thing that turns it into a lava lamp, I'm gonna add our color. Just a few drops. And now I think we crush these up. There we go. <laughs> I'm so excited. Look, it's bubbling. Oh, it's a oh, bubbling it it. Look at that. This is so cool. That is crazy. We have a homemade lava lamp. Those bubbles are giant. It's like misting. It sounds kind of scary. Look how big those bubbles are in there. I get so excited whenever these TikTok science experiments actually work. I want to put this next to my bed. The science on this one is definitely confirmed. All right, what do we got here? Welcome back to DIY Easy Science. It's a string? What is that? He's, a noodle? He's filling up the water with the string? I have no idea what's going on right now. He's filling the other glass with the string. So it's like teleporting the water to the other cup. It's like a zip line for water. That's the coolest thing ever. But that is actually really cool. We have our green water just like in the video and this empty glass right here. Let's see if we can create a water zip line. Let's put our string in the water. Let's see if this actually works. Oh. Whoa, it filled the glass. Yeah, I don't think this one works. It looks like I'm doing cool science stuff because the water is green. But look, the zip line does not work. Oh, oh, Matthew, it got all over me. We are now leveling up to the craziest science experiments ever seen on TikTok. I'm actually really curious if this one works or not. Some static electricity. Okay. Oh, it's like levitating. I swear science is just magic. All right. Some static electricity. I'm rubbing this balloon against my head right now. Ready? Yes. Go. I feel like she had a leaf blower or something underneath this. This is not working. Come Unless on. Unless me and Big Matt are idiots, which is likely. Very likely. This thing doesn't work. Science unconfirmed. A bubble machine? Whoa. Why is there a sock? That's kind of gross. That kind of looks like Big Matt's sock. He has strawberries on him. <laughs> Actually, oranges. Pay attention, we gotta try this. Finally dip and blow. Wow. Whoa. This is kind of like elephant toothpaste, but bubbles instead. We have our sock thing ready. Got a little bit of soap. Mixy. Let's do a couple colors. Blue, green. Whoa! <laughs> looks just like the elephant toothpaste. That is crazy! Those Bro. are some crazy bubbles. I can make unlimited bubbles with this. Watch this. You don't need a bubble machine anymore. I'm glad his glasses are on. So many bubbles. <laughs> Subscribe! Subscribe! I already said that. Oh, in my eyes. Click these videos right here. <laughs>